most people like that be rapping and shit die in their own city. Fuck working at Journeys, fuck doing all that extra shit, fuck that baseball shit, fuck going outside, fuck going to the hood, all that shit. I got my blessing now, I had to take that shit in advantage. If I wasn't doing music, I'd probably be hosting club parties or playing baseball. Hey, be careful! I was playing baseball since I was two, so I don't know. My mom just signed me up for baseball, and since ever then, I've just been playing baseball. I normally play second base and like the whole outfield. Everybody would try to get me on a team, like sign me up and get me on a team that year, cause like I was like an all-star player, and like I would. Like when people would stop playing in the season, I'll still be playing like travel ball. Number 44 was my baseball number. And you feel me, I just ran with that. I was making music while playing baseball, but I really wasn't like focused on no music. I was just playing baseball because my mom was like, you need to get the fuck like and do something. You can't be at, in the streets all the time or be in the house all the time. Like you gotta do something. What I like about making music, I don't know, putting the music out. That's what I like about making music. And like, I don't know, I like playing my music so much that I get tired of my shit, so I don't gotta listen to it no more. And like when motherfuckers start listening to it, I just be like, yeah, nigga, I did that shit and I don't wanna listen to that shit no more. <laughs> the Rubbing Off the Pain video, like, okay, I dropped it. I automatically knew it was gonna hit a million. I don't know how I knew, but like God was telling me, all my niggas was telling me, everybody was like, yeah, this the one. So I was like, okay, boom, that shit hit a million. It was a good feeling, but you feel me? I really didn't take it as like real. I thought it was like, it, it really didn't process to me. So after that, like when it hit a meal, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get on my shit for real. Like it's really time. Like I got to do this shit for my mama now. Like nigga, my mom made me go to California. So I was like, fuck it, I'm going out here. And I was like, hell no, I want to go back home. Second time I came out here, I went crazy. And it was just boom. Yeah, this is like, I want to live here. I was just so used to being home. You feel me being around people I'm usually being around. Being home was just better for me, but now I just signed Corday and he finna be straight. Like his brother locked up for 24 years. He was like, what, 17, 18, my age type shit. Like I'm putting my whole team on, bro. Like I'm straight, I know I'm straight. Jay straight, Almighty Jay, my artist, they know he's straight forever, forever straight. He was the reason I made my first rap song. <laughs> this nigga I met Jay on Xbox in like 2014. I ain't really like him at first, but my first rap song was a diss song to this whole ass nigga Jay. Cause this nigga, bro, he just kept mentioning me for no reason. Like he didn't even know me. He just kept talking shit over the Xbox. So boom, made a diss song about him. He made a diss song back. Next thing you know, both of them was hard. So I was like, bro, we was like, bro, what the fuck? We like 14 at the time. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Why is we arguing? He was like, I don't know, your shit cold. Then I made a song with this nigga Jay. And it was going crazy on Xbox cause we was like 14 going crazy and shit. And then we just built a relationship and that's been my brother ever since. And like in 2017, I linked up with him for the first time and that's the same shit for like all my people like most of the people that i be around i linked up with everybody in 2017 type shit because we all met over the game you're not gonna get put on if you're not on the internet like the internet is the main source to people getting put on you know? if you're not on the internet you're not gonna get put on nigga i am like a whole different person even though i'm still me like my whole life changed because of this shit like people around me life changed because of this shit Nigga, my fans like change cause of shit. So just, and it's millions of people. It's not just like one person. And just knowing like that, that shit affect a bunch of people. My music affect people, that shit, in a good way, and make them feel good, that shit, it's the best from ever.